And as we, we look at the feed yard, it's, it's important to realize that in the feed yard, a lot of people involved in the production of those cattle in there, a lot of people observing the health, how, what their performance is of those cattle. Uh, our feed yards have got uh, consulting veterinarians that are there on standby to treat any of the health needs of those cattle if they, they do get sick. Uh, animals are just like people. They get sick at times and uh, we do whatever we can to maintain the health of them but occasionally we do get an animal that gets sick just like us as human. But, but the health needs of those animals are, are really observed, the conditions that they're raised in to make sure that we're producing a healthy animal. The other thing too is, uh, in addition to a veterinarian that's always on standby in, in those feed yards, they also have consulting nutritionists who are there to make sure that the dietary needs of those, those cattle are met, uh, again for the well-being, but ultimately so that those cattle will gain well and perform well and do well so that we can have a good quality product and from a business standpoint, we need to make sure it makes, makes sense and those cattle do perform and do make money for the owners of those animals. About 7% of the corn raised in the United States is actually food grain corn. The balance is corn that's uh, fed the livestock. Uh, one of the reasons the United States is so successful is as, a, as a nation is because our, cheap, our, our ability to produce cheap protein and, and healthy protein uh, in the form of beef, pork, chicken, uh, well actually all poultry, and uh, some lamb. Uh, without that ability we'd be much like the rest of the world which are mostly protein deficient and pay a very high price for, their, uh, for, for that product where we're at a great advantage having the uh, production capability both in the raw materials such as the grain and the roughages and the expertise to turn those grain and roughages into balanced rations that produce a healthy and uh, very economical protein source that complements the health and well-being of the uh, of the United States. We have a we have a system here at Freon Industries where we uh, where we will uh, uh, contract uh, with producers or stockers to uh, obtain our inventory. Uh, several reasons for this. One is the health risk has is been addressed off-site and uh, we buy so when we receive cattle into the feed yard they're they're healthy and uh, and it's much more economical to put a, uh, a calf on feed that's healthy and ready to go to work than it is to spend 30 to 45 days trying to uh, trying to uh, get that animal to adapt to the environment. And we have, we have cattle on feed in our feed yard from 23 states, and uh, we feed uh, no foreign cattle at all. Humane treatment goes back to the old term of animal husbandry. We are husbanding, husbanding those animals to, to provide them with a safe, secure, uh, comfortable environment so they then can produce the, uh, the economic outcome that, that uh, is, best, uh, is best suited for, for our financial future. Uh, so um, it's, it's totally erroneous to think that the industry is, has some bias against animal welfare. We're its biggest advocate and, and because we live it every single day and it's not just talk, it's, it's reality. What are